Hey babes in bookland. This is a quick Friday reads video. I just wanted to uh, kind of talk to you about some of the stuff I'm going to be reading for the weekend. Um, I am not in a reading slump, but I have been having a little bit of trouble just getting started for the month of March. And so it's been a little bit tricky, mostly just because my work schedule for the last two and a half weeks has been unbearably <laughs> inconsistent. And um, yeah, just kind of work stuff, life stuff. Book life is not winning right now. It's other life that's winning right now. And so I decided this weekend that I was just going to sort of take it easy, um, maybe not start some of my uh, March Madness selections just yet but just kind of do some smaller uh, digestible things. So what I decided to do is just catch up on some comic book series that I've let lapse. Um, so these are the ones that I'm going to be reading. So I am going to be catching up this weekend on Black Magic. Um, this is a comic book series by Nicholas Scott and Greg Rucka. And the story is really um, starting to take some shape. So this has been sort of sporadically released um, just because they have other projects going on. Nicholas Scott was working on a bunch of Wonder Woman stuff earlier. Um, and so this came out last year, I believe, maybe the year before. But again, just kind of inconsistent um, releases but I think now it's starting to kind of pick up some momentum so um, the story is really cool it mostly just deals with like occult and um, witchcraft and the colorist uh, Shaira Arena I think her last name is um, just does a beautiful job the illustrations are all black and white but you just get these really cool bursts of color here and there um, that just lend so nicely to the effect of the book. Um, and that's just kind of a little bit of what the illustrations look like. If you can see, hopefully there's not a glare. Um, but yeah, just cool story, cool artwork. Um, it's very rare that I come into a comic book series when it first starts. A lot of the books that I've grown to know and love have had a pretty long run before I came to them. Um, so with this one, it's been kind of special because it's like, oh, I was there for the first issue and um, I'll definitely follow it through just for the sake of being a completionist with that series. Um, also, and I'm so excited to get to these. I'm so excited. Um, Southern Bastards. I'm about five issues behind um, the current issue. So that's going to be really exciting for me to just catch up on stuff. Jason Aaron and Jason Latour do this book. And for my money, I don't know that there is a better book on the market in, across all the comic book companies. I think that this story is so unique and so relevant and so just beautifully told and beautifully illustrated. Um, there are... What are we at now? I think 17 issues. They just came out with 17 or 18. So um, issue number 17 and the story is just, it's so complex. And I, I know it's probably not for everybody, but if you do end up finding yourself um, debating on whether or not to pick up the first couple of issues or the first volume, um, take a chance on it because I don't think that you'll be disappointed. And also I think that the character development in this book is not just the best that I've seen in a comic book, but I think the best character development I've come across in any book period. So this is probably one of my favorite series that's out there right now. If not my favorite, it's my number one favorite book. I'm going to retract that. It is my number one favorite comic book that I am reading currently right now. So Southern Bastards. Um, also I have some back issues of Black Monday Murders. So, um, this, this I read for, um, Bukowski Bingo, I read the first volume for my pulp selection and it was really, really cool. I was really um, 
excited about continuing with this series. So I've got a few back issues. The second volume's not out yet. Um, and I talked about that in the last video, but um, it is gonna be fun to just get caught up on these two. Again, the artwork is fantastic. The storytelling and the layout, everything is very meticulous, very intentional. Um, so yeah, there's that. Also, I've got the eighth volume of Saga, which you've seen this around, you know what it's about. So I'm gonna get, get to that. If I do find some time to start on my March Mystery uh, Madness TBR, I'm gonna start with meddling kids. I think it'll just be kind of a good thing to jump into after reading all the comic books and something to kind of just work as a palate cleanser <laughs> before I start reading some of my heavier, darker selections for uh, March Mystery Madness. So um, I'm also going to be out of town next week. So I was thinking maybe one of those selections, I'll just pick up an audio book of um, and take it in the car just so I don't fall behind on stuff. So that's what I've got for this weekend. Uh, definitely let me know if there's anything you guys are excited about getting to this weekend. And I hope that your reading month is getting off to a little bit of a better start than mine. But yeah, that's all I've got today. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon.